Hello, my name is Julian Panzer. I'm Danielle Panzer. And we're here to make some Vietnamese food together. So Danielle and I got married uh, just over a year ago and we took our honeymoon in Thailand and Vietnam. We spent two weeks in Vietnam. We took a couple's cooking class and we wanted to bring something that we learned there to uh, your attention. So we're gonna be making a dish called Bun Bo Nam Bo, which is a primarily Southern Vietnamese dish. Uh, it, it's essentially a nice salad with our vermicelli noodles and some grilled marinated beef. The beef, the marinade for the beef is very important. We use something called Nok Cham, which is a nice combination of lime juice, fresh chilies, and fish sauce. So you're gonna find this Nok Cham in a dish, kind of like a condiment, on basically every dinner table in Vietnam. It's essential for dousing your soup, your salad, uh, your sandwich, whatever it might be. So ingredients for our salad, obviously the vermicelli noodles are essential. We have them over here. Basically, uh, just brought some kettle water up to a boil, submerged them, and 20 minutes uh, is all they take to reconstitute, soften up, and um, make them edible. So this happened about 15 minutes ago, so we'll have five minutes to prepare everything else. Where our salad ingredients are going to be spring mix, some julienne pepper, julienne celery, and we're going to pickle some julienne carrot. Now, the process of pickling something, uh, even a quick pickle, depending on the thickness and density of your vegetable, uh, this normally takes about uh, an hour to two hours, uh, but we're gonna kinda rush it just to show you how it's done. So our julienne carrot, we'll pop that into our bowl here, and we're gonna use rice wine vinegar. It's one of my favorite vinegars to use in the kitchen. It's uh, not too, too acidic, it's got a nice sweetness to it, and if you get the seasoned version, uh, then you get a really nice aroma of flavors in there. So, just a quick pickle, rice wine vinegar, mix that into our carrots. If you prefer something a little bit sweeter, uh, no one's gonna hurt you for adding a little bit of sugar or honey to your dish. So, we'll let that sit nice and submerged there. And while I'm finishing up julienne, julienning our uh, celery and our pepper, I'm gonna have Danielle over here uh, searing our beef. Now this is something that you can do in advance and kind of just let sit, especially beef steak. You want it to rest a little bit before you put it on the plate, seal in the juices, allow them to soak back in the juices. So ideal marinating time, uh, marinating meats, Generally for every hour it's in a marinade, it'll only penetrate into the meat one millimeter. So you wanna give it at least a few hours. Uh, our beef here that we're using is tenderloin. I did get a large tenderloin, cut it into individual steak portions. And so this is just the trimmings. Really nice way to use trimmings. All right, so uh, our last ingredient we'll add is cilantro and quite frankly, I'm just gonna tear this up and put it right into our greens. Keep it nice and fresh and herbaceous. No need to butcher up our herbs for no reason. So I'm gonna do my thing here. Danielle's gonna explain what she's doing over here and why she's doing it. Uh, so what I've got here in our pan is our grapeseed oil. The reason I'm using grapeseed oil is because it has a very high smoking temperature. Unlike olive oil, um, it uh, also has less of a flavor. So we're gonna use that today. Um, I am gonna let my grapeseed oil come to a very high heat before I add my meat, which is something that should be done all the time. So I do believe I can hear our grapeseed ready to go. So I am going to add our beef. That's the best sound you can hear in a kitchen, I think. And I will also turn down my meat. Now typically in Vietnam and Asian cultures that we experience, the meat is not done to well done. I'm going to keep this a really nice medium rare. beautiful marinade at this time. So for those of you who don't know what fish sauce is, to put it in the simplest terms, it's essentially Worcester sauce, uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce or Worcester sauce for uh, various Asian countries. Uh, they use fish sauce a lot in China, definitely a lot in Vietnam, and Thailand is an absolute staple there. So you get this beautiful aroma, this deep aroma, uh, umami is the word, so kind of a nice combination of sweet, salty, bitter, and sour. 
and uh, it, it's like Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce where it's a mixture of maybe anchovy or tuna and it's infused with garlic and ginger and various spices uh, and really the purpose of fish sauce is to help build flavor. It's a, it's a nice big flavor as if you've added soy but not too much salt. It is quite salty though so just careful, a little, a little does go a long way. So we've got our carrots on the pickle, as we say, and we've got some julienne celery and red pepper on this side. The beef looks absolutely amazing, but I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> We're gonna do a taste test. Lovely, phenomenal. One of my favorite ways that we experienced pork belly, for instance, in Vietnam, was a simple marinade of fish sauce a little bit of sugar and they slow cooked it for about 45 uh, 45 minutes until it just crisped up on the outside became super tender on the inside and lovely nice salty flavor so we're gonna leave everything here our beef is going to cool down and rest on our resting rack in the meantime we can work on our vinaigrette together so we'll go ahead and i get to do what i love to do and that is delegate to my wife <laughs> so we're going to actually save our grape seed for the last thing. We're going to add in a splash of lime juice and a splash of lemon juice. Let's not find any seeds in there, please. I'll try. She likes when I give her a little bit of that too. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up some uh, fresh red Thai chilies. Nice and spicy, these ones. And uh, Danielle's going to show you a neat trick for uh, peeling ginger, actually. So with a knife, I find trimming around the ginger there's a lot of waste. Using a peeler, it's very tedious to get around all the nubs and all the nooks and crannies. This is how it's done here. Simply with a teaspoon, the same way that you would hold a paring knife and it'll take the skin of the ginger right off easily. Beautiful. So yeah, it's kind of like as if you were peeling an apple. It's that same kind of method. The great way to show you is Hold your spoon, three fingers like this, and point your fingers like a gun. And then you wrap that finger on the back of the spoon. And again, just to show you, chef can do it too. Just peel down nice and easy. Spray yourself in the eye a little bit. It's good for you, okay? All right, so we've got our nice, finely minced chilies. It is important to mince them finely. Uh, if you can't do it in one chop, then basically back in the center and do your guillotine chop. The last thing you want is a big hunk of chili stuck in your teeth and then two hours later you're eating your dessert and wondering why your mouth is on fire. Okay, so we have our lime juice, our lemon juice, our fresh chilies. Now we're going to add in freshly minced ginger and freshly minced garlic. Now I want a little sweetness in my life. Not that I don't have it, but we'll take more. Nice spoon of honey. This is organic, unpasteurized Ontario honey. I like to support local when possible. Okay, now we want a little more acidity, a little more depth of flavor. We're gonna use our rice wine vinegar. That's perfect. So a little splash. We're working like cooks here. We're not bakers, okay? We use a splash and a dash and a spoon and a pinch. I won't, uh, you know, if you want exact measurements, I'll give you my email address. So for depth of flavor again, we're going to use our all-powerful fish sauce, okay? The thing about fish sauce is in Thailand and Vietnam, I saw them using like a quarter cup, a half cup at a time. And these bottles, for some reason they come out like it's twinkling, okay? Now we're going to whisk our vinaigrette as we add our grapeseed oil. So again, we're using our grapeseed oil so that it's got a nice neutral flavor and it's actually healthy to ingest uh, just like olive oil. So general ratio of acidity to oil is three to one. But again, we're working like cooks. We're gonna just add it, eyeball it, and we'll have a taste. So I'm gonna grab us a couple teaspoons, even though if I wasn't on camera right now, I think that we would just be dipping our fingers in. Here we go, let's have a taste. Looking for acidity, looking for tang, looking for a nice balance of flavor. That's got the spice in Beautiful. There. Nice and sweet, nice and salty, and lots of flavor. So, this is perfect. 
We're going to head back over here now, and we're going to put it all together. So, first things first, let's get our salad together. 